Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. And guys, just before this place comes out, I decided let's play a game with a Mega Tyranitar deck. Why? Because I felt like playing Mega Tyranitar. Um, and the way that I've been just thinking about playing it, it's kind of based off of the Roxy Chomp deck using stuff like Giratina and using Weezing and Roxy here to build up damage counters for T-Tar. We also have Shrine. I've tried it out with like Zigzagoon and Scoop Up Net, but it was too clunky. Uh, I've that's also kind of the same thing. It's just kind of clunky because Mega Titar is a pretty bulky boy, but it does need four energy to attack. So we do have to play cards like Mega Turbo, DCE. Now this card can work with twin energy, uh, but you're usually fine just playing the four DCs. So you don't need twin. Uh, that is just another cool interaction. Now PDC Joe is extremely bugged right now. So I'm hoping we don't hit any bugs. I haven't seen any bugs yet with like Roxy or anything, which is good. So before we get the video, guys, of course, our to our sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. Again, guys, if you're trying to pick up any Darkness of Blaze codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin is selling Darkness of Blaze codes for the cheapest on the market. So if you guys are trying to pick up Darkness of Blaze codes, be sure to get them at Card Cabin. If you're looking for the pack codes, the pre-release kit codes, or the theme deck Darkness of Blaze codes, get them at Card Cabin TCG. If you're wanting to get any other pack code or any other thing like the trainer toolkit code, get them at Card Cabin. If you get anything from Card Cabin TCG, guys, use my discount code code LDF at the checkup for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, help yourself out, and help out Cargaven TCG too. You can also check out Cargaven TCG's um, buy list if you guys want to sell and trade in anything to Car Cabin for some cash in or credit. You can check out their buy list and see what they're looking for, make some money and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, guys, you can check out my Patreon down below if you guys want to pledge $2 a month for exclusive content. Uh, be sure to check out my Patreon. It's a nice way to support the channel. It's only $2 a month. So, yeah, let's take a look at the T-Tar list that I've been rocking with here. This is the final list that I've built for this deck. Now, this deck, it's a little slow, and it's, like, kind of, like, inconsistent. Now, T-Tar does have the Attack Destroyer King for two darks and DC. You do 110 and 60 more damage for each damage counters on your opponent's active. So, we're going to try to build up damage counters through stuff like Distortion Door. Roxy blow away bomb and also through shrine of punishment here Those are our main ways of getting damage On the board and hopefully we can accomplish that I wish we played a little bit more damage counter placement cards like you know Coco or zigzagoon, but it's just kind of clunky uh, because this deck does need to play quite a few cards I found um, so unfortunately we I just couldn't find room for all that stuff Another cool thing with T-Tar, it does have a ancient trait where you can put two tools on it. And I tried to build this originally with like two buff padding. So you'd go like make gear and take the spirit link off the T-Tar. And then you would put two buff paddings on it to give it an extra 100 HP. Unfortunately though, uh, that build was also very clunky because I didn't have an efficient way to do Destroyer King and take knockouts. So I had to just go with a simple Roxy build here. Um, but it's pretty fun to play still. I think this deck still plays pretty fine. Um, the games I got were pretty good, so there you go. Now, one cool thing is you can play Hoopa in here with Scoundrel Ring because it get you T-Tar, it get you Dedenne, and get, or not Dedenne, it get you T-Tar, make a T-Tar Shaman, and Jirachi, which are thrown in. Now, I don't play Scoop Up Net in here. You can definitely play one or two Scoop Up Nets in this deck if you want, um, but I can't find room for any Scoop Up Nets, but it is something to consider. Uh, going into the items now, we got three compressor, one comp search, two dark patch for T-Tar, two mega turbos for the T-Tar also. We got one field blower here, one treasure, uh, two quick ball, four ultra ball, four via seekers, two shrine for damage, and I got all your typical draw supporters. Not too sure how I'm feeling about playing like chorus and stuff, because we are playing three Roxy, but this is what I'm rocking with. And I got one float stone, three T-Tar spirit link, four DCEs and seven dark. Now other stuff, obviously Sableye V could go in here too. If you're gonna play Sableye V, you kinda have to play four dark patch to accompany the Sableye V. But since we only play two dark patch and two mega turbo, I'm not really a big fan of playing the Sableye V. Um, so that's why I don't play it, but it is something you can put in here. Uh, but this is the list I'm rocking with. Let's go try it out and see in action. All right guys, gonna do a match now. PDCGO is extremely bugged right now. Like it is insanely bugged. The amount of bugs and glitches that I have been seeing on, like if you just go on the Pokemon TCG Twitter, you will see nothing but people posting new bugs and glitches that were found after yesterday's update. It's actually insane the amount of glitches this game has right now. It is nuts. So hopefully we don't accidentally discover one and we don't actually get a glitch because that would not be fun. Okay. Um, I think we're always doing Sky Return, so we'll do this. We can go for a Hoopa here. And get T-Tar. And I don't know. Well, no, we can get Jirachi, but we already have Roxy in our hand. Maybe I just get computer cert or battle compressor. Then we can. Hmm. 
don't really know what I want here. It's either I go, I can go Battle Compressor. Because we have a Quick Ball. Yeah, let's go Battle Compressor. I don't know if this is the right call or not, but I'm going to say that it is. We can put T-Char in play. We're not going to attach to it, though, other than put the Dark Patch on, because I'm probably going to have to Sky Return the Shaman here. We could go Hoopa. Uh, Hoopa for t -tar. Yeah, let's go get Hoopa. We can get T-Tar, Jirachi, Mega T-Tar. I like that. It's been a while since I played Hoopa. All right. Let's uh, build up the Tyranitar here. And we're just going to pass. Again, we're going to save the DC for next turn. Hopefully, we can draw into a Weezing here or something we can do to get Weezing to get some damage on board. Um, but if not, we'll settle the Sky Return. We can Sky Return go into Giratina, possibly, or an Execute because it's easy to knock out. I could also let them knock up Shaman, but I don't want to do that. Plus, I want to get the Shaman back in my hand, so I think I'm just going to Sky Return here. Ooh, they're playing a Welder deck. But what kind of Welder deck are they playing? Pokecom? Bro, is this even a expanded deck? Reshizard. I mean, we can knock it out with Destroyer King. We have 240 HP, too, so Reshizard can't one-shot my T-Tar. Ooh, they got two energy on it, too. Oh, they got the three energy. Yikes, they can double blaze my Tyranitar next turn, which is not good. Not good at all. Oh, they're actually gonna knock out Shaman here. Hmm. Oh, maybe not? Okay. Interesting. Hey, look at that. We drew a Weezy and I predicted it and I was right. Now, I'm actually gonna have to probably do a Giratina anyways. Uh, definitely gonna go DC. Do the old Roxy here. Ooh, that's a good hand. It's Distortion Door. Actually, I think with this hand, we actually would have almost been attacking if we kept that Floatstone around. Pretty sure. I mean... Okay, let's do this. Put a Dark Energy in. We'll probably put the end in the discard pile too. What else do I want to put the discard pile? Probably nothing else, right? Yeah. Nothing else. I almost ended my turn by Mega Evolving. That would have been a misplay right there. I would have Sky Return the Jirachi. Bring in the Giratina and hope they don't have a uh, an energy, a boss, and a choice band to knock me out. Because that would really suck if they knock out T-Tar here. We have accumulated a decent amount of damage though. On this are 20 damage. Uh... Maybe we can do another Roxy next turn. We'll see. Then we can attack with Destroyer King. And if they not go get Giratina too, I mean, this Jirachi is going to get knocked out in a couple turns. In a couple more uh, Roxies and Tina spams. That's pretty good. I mean, if they don't knock out Giratina, that's going to be a little awkward. We probably might have to just try to build up another T-Tar then if they don't knock out Giratina. Sorry, Flynn. I don't even know if they're playing an expanded deck. They haven't played a single expanded card yet. So it's hard to tell if they got an expanded deck or not. Hopefully there's no bugs though. But yeah, Welder is apparently bugged. Um, clay is really bugged. I've seen like five different bugs with Clay. Clay like, I've seen Clay like take cards out of the discard pile back in your hand. I've seen Clay also take prize cards, bro. It's ridiculous. Clay's bugged. Like Flapple's bugged. Apparently Flapple can hit multiple Pokemon at once, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, there's just like some really... Ooh, low puff. That's actually really bad. Uh, yeah. There's just some insane bugs on PDCGO now. It is nuts to see what happened to the game. It sucks too because it's just before the new set. It's like, there are, people don't have time for these bugs when there, it's like, there's a new set coming out in a few days. You know what I mean? So it makes these glitches a little more painful. So hopefully the new set um, isn't like completely destroyed by bugs. That would really suck. Um, but who knows? Okay, let's see if they knock me out. I want them to knock me out. Giratina gets knocked out. We can use its ability again and get damage on low puff, which I want to do. And a 30, because I'm assuming they're going to attack with Heat Ran. Okay, another energy on Zard. It sucks we can't do another Wheezy near. Ooh, they're actually going to knock me out with Rushy Zard. Okay, that's fine. 
I am fine with this. Now, Destroyer King is not knocking them out. So we need to do another Roxy if we're going to take a knockout here. No, it's not a Roxy. We can do we can do Battle Compressor. Um, not much I want to get rid of, though. It's the only problem. We might have to just... Mm, we might not get a knockout. Let's see what Shima gives me. Okay. We're gonna have to drop Jirachi. We gotta pretty much hope they don't welder the low puff here. Um, but we can do a, uh, another rock, Roxy spread here. Hopefully we can find Shrine too. We also need to find a T-Tar off of this Roxy. But I really hate this. I mean, look, this that low puff is doing a lot of damage now. Which is not ideal, but uh, it's what we have to deal with right now if we're gonna set up and win We need not get this thing and we got the Roxy damage. There's a T-Tar. You love to see it. All right, cool Let's get some damage on board Get you down Ooh, we can't put an energy on just yet. Oof, that's actually pretty bad We might have to just keep giving up Giratina for the time being Uh, the Drachi's gonna get knocked out soon, though, which is good. And Destroyer King. 290 damage. Bye-bye, Rushizar. Now, let's see if we can get some good prizes here. Uh, oh, look at that. Weezing, can we get a Via Seeker? Quick Ball, mm, don't need that. Dark, don't need that either. Where's my Versus Seekers at? So I can play another Roxy. This thing's gonna get knocked out. Hopefully, they don't have another Welder in their hand. If they Welder this low puff, we are in trouble because we can't knock it out. Do they win, actually, if they welder me? No, I don't think... They, they could welder. I'm, like, scared of Puffy Smashers, but they can't do that right now. Ooh, they actually have to do this. Ooh. We might actually be able to retreat and Guzma knock out the low puff and win the game. No, don't get a switch. Okay, please. I really hope they don't have a welder here. I am petrified of my opponent. Yes! We've won! I think. I think I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got a shrine. Is that game? Yeah, that is game. That's We're doing 220. Yeah, that's game. Even if it's not game, it's fine. Because it's still pretty much... Yeah, this is definitely game. Yep, 230. Just like that, you build up damage, and you're good to go. And yeah, pretty good match. There was one of our VS Seekers. It was prized. All right, cool. And we didn't run into a glitch. Hey, we get a sword and shield pack to open up. Um, I can't really open packs up in this recording settings that I'm doing right now in OBS because it does cause a lot of lag, but I'll open it up anyways. Uh, but I am planning, um, I'm, I don't want to open up 100 packs of Dark Blaze. That's that's way too many packs to open up day one. But for content wise, I might just have to open up 100 packs of Darkness Blaze. <laughs> we'll see. All right, quick ball. Oh, let's go. Not a bad pull at all. A full art Zacian. Pretty good stuff. Alright, before we get into this next match, I did take out the Chorus, and I've thrown in a Rescue Stretcher, because I feel like we were missing a Pokemon Recovery card, and I don't think we really need Chorus, so I just took it out. Um, I still maybe want to put a Scuba in this deck. Now, let's see if we can run into any bugs. Honestly, it would make the video more entertaining if we ran into someone who did a bug. Like, I don't even care. Like, it's like, how oh, I lose, who cares, right? It's just, I want to see some of these wacky bugs in action, bro. It's nuts! It is nuts, dude. It's like... I have never seen this many bugs on PDC Joe all at once. It's like after yesterday's disastrous updates, the game got like insanely bro It's like broken, dude. It's like the spaghetti code. I don't get it. Mm. I really hope the game is fine for tomorrow. I'm, I'm a little scared of like the game being completely broken for tomorrow. If it, bro, if PDC Joe is destroyed, then like it is. Uh, if the new set comes out and there is a jillion bugs, I am going to be very sad. I really hope that PCGO is good for tomorrow. I really do. I don't know if they have to go into another maintenance. I'm down if, if PCGO wants to stay down all night until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Just to fix these bugs, bro, I am down. Ooh, easy clap. Easy clap. This guy's got Dragapult back. Easy clap. Okay. But yeah, if PCGO has to put the game in maintenance for some time because of how uh, glitchy it is, bro, they gotta do what they gotta do. These bugs are like flat out unacceptable. I don't even know what I want to get rid of here. This comp search. I think I'm gonna have to go float. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Bro. I'm actually gonna get battle compressor here. 
Ooh, we prized both executes. Yikes. But we prized one execute, not both. What the heck am I saying? Alright. Let's put a dark energy in there. Do this. We could get Hoopa with this, but I am going to opt for a Weezing instead. We don't need that much damage on them. I think we really only need 10 damage on the Dragapult to knock it out because of it's already weak to dark. So that's good. So let's go Roxy here. There's some energy. There's a Shaman. We have 20. We have resistance to Psychic 2, which is pretty good. Uh, we didn't get a Mega Titar, unfortunately. I'm just going to pass. I don't think Titar is getting KO'd here. Well, maybe they could knock me out with a Gengar Mimikyu, I guess. No, that's too late now. Never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. I would have went Giratina there because, again, you saw Giratina is like a good sacrificial card. But, yeah, I want them to bench more stuff. And they did bench a Pokemon. All right, cool. Uh, we need to knock them out here, and I think we can pull it off. We probably... We might have to do Juniper here, unfortunately. I don't know if I want to do... I might... Mm, we can't do Roxy again right now. Hmm. Might have to do Juniper. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of doing... I'm just going to get rid of all this. I'm not a big fan of doing Juniper. Is there any way... No, because there's no way I can... Okay, we'll have to... We'll shame in for one, see what we get here. Uh, okay, another t tar is good. Right, we're, I'm probably just going to have to do Juniper. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Mega T-Tar knockout, unfortunately. We have to get really lucky. Oh, we got it, bro. Chill. Yo, I did not expect to actually hit the Turbo and the T-Tar. Because I only had one Turbo left in the deck, right? So, there you go. We can build up our other boys. Destroyer King. Destroyer King, indeed. 340 damage, bro. Dragapult didn't even stand a chance. All right, let's see. Oh, there's the other egg, beautiful prize. Uh, Dark Patch. I was hoping for the other Weezing, because I know we have a Weezing prized. But this is fine. Uh, the alternate Krozma doesn't get KO'd. It does actually have 100 and... It'll have 10 HP left, exactly, which is kind of hilarious. Ooh, it looks like he's bringing the Malamar. I mean, I don't know what my opponent could do at this point. I mean, he can build up this. We have another T-Tar, hopefully slowly building up in the background. We'll see, though. I know... No, no glitches? No glitch? Fingers crossed for no glitch? Who knows? Ooh, Rescue Stretcher. I mean, if you want to put the Dragapult back into play, be my guess. Actually, if you want to make it easier on me and put the Dragapult VMAX back in play, be my guess twice in a row. If we put, if they see, if we see, if we don't go to the Malamar and they put a Dragapult VMAX in play, we don't have to even bother with the Necrozma knockout. Hey, my boy Sycamore. Get rid of a Metal Energy, okay. I don't think we can get knocked out this turn by the Necrozma unless he plays Beast Ring. If he, if he does knock me out here, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, to be honest with you. But I, we'll see if he plays any B-String or not. Maybe I'll turn across my Dragapult with the Malamar deck that was being slept on. If Malamar wasn't rotating, maybe it would have been good. They go with Lele. What supporter will they get? I'm predicting they get an N here. Because we do have... We'll probably, we'll probably go down to three prizes here. So I'm expecting them to get an N with this. We'll see, though. We'll see what they take. Alright, I don't know what I want to get rid of here with this quick ball. I mean, we probably want to get it. We definitely want to go probably another Mega Tar. I'm probably just going to have to do another Roxy. I would like to find my Shrine of Punishment to add extra damage. Shrine might be better for this deck just because, like, I mean, V Pokemon are popular, but, like, Shrine is really good because, if in theory, if Shrine can stick a turn, you get... You have some extra 20 damage you get in play for free. And that's enough to knock out most GXs, so... I don't know, maybe Shrine. Maybe we should play 3 Shrine or something, just because it's so good. That Why would they bring in the Necrozma? Bro, what? Why would they do that? They're all, Why would they just not... I don't understand why they just brought in the Necrozma. Uh, ooh, actually, we can do this. We can Quick Ball. I don't even really know what I want to get here. I guess we take Hoopa in case we can find another Spirit Link. We can Dark Patch to the other T-Tar again. And we can Ultra Ball here, get the Weezing. And we're going to take a nice juicy knockout here with our 
Roxy Weezing combo. No spaghetti code has been found yet though, somehow. I did see someone tweet out that Roxy let them put damage on them twice with only one Weezing. Uh, I don't know if that'll happen to us. I don't know if that's legit or not. Let's find out. Let's see it. Okay, what are we looking at here? A... Wait! Did I just draw more cards than six? That was not six cards, bro, I swear. Dude. I... Oh no, it is glitched! It's spotted spaghetti code! <laughs> no, the return of the spaghetti code, no. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, we drew, dude, we, that was not, oh my gosh, I feel so bad for this guy. Dude, that was not six cards, bro. I was like, wait, that's not six. That's way more than six cards. Oh my gosh. PTCGO, fix your crap. Oh my gosh. That, dude, that's, that's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Dude, the spaghetti code. The spaghetti code. Oh my gosh. Okay, so literally, just as I said it too, we actually get that Roxy glitch. That's that's freaking funny. That is actually hilarious. Well, we have game next turn, unless my opponent plays like Faba and Hand Hammer or something like that. Dude, the glitch. Oh, that, I shouldn't even have done anything there because we should not have drawn that many cards with Roxy. Oh my gosh, bro. That is freaking hilarious. That's actually funny. Bro, the broken glitches, dude. The broken glitches. I'm like looking at I'm like, dude, there's no way that's six cards. Um, yeah. I might have to clip that for Twitter. Okay, wow. That's hilarious. Not oh, the Dragapult's a goner unless he puts do we have field blower still? No we don't. Well the Dragapult can live if he puts weakness policy on, but he doesn't alright, yeah, that's gonna be game. He did eventually take out a T Tar, which is impressive. But uh we got another one coming his way. Maybe we should put like a choice band or muscle band here to do extra damage. I don't know. Let's see where he puts this damage with Max Phantom. Yeah, on the T-Tar. That's gonna be game, guys. We have discovered a glitch. Roxy does let you put two damage for one Weezing and also somehow draws like 12 cards. I don't know how many cards we really drew there, um, but that was definitely a not, um, not six cards. I'll tell you that right now. PDCGO broke. PTC Joe broke. All right, guys, get another match here. We're up against Zelo with a grass deck. All right. We'll see what he's playing. We'll see if this uh, glitch with Roxy and Weezing happens one more time. Man, I can't believe it, though. That's hilarious. Dude, the amount of bugs, though. It's like, I'm on Twitter, bro. Everyone's just tweeting about all the bugs they found. It is kind of sad. Very sad. But it's also, it's freaking it's hilarious. The glitches are hilarious. Fomantis. Okay, what could we be playing against here? We'll see. Shaman. Aether Paradise. I guess I play some kind of heal deck. Let's see we draw. Field Blower. It's not really doing much favors for us. Um, We'll get rid of the Mega T-Tar. I'm fine with this. We have Stretcher. We'll take Koopa here. We'll probably, I'm probably just going to go like N or something, I think. Or, I don't really know if I want to do Juniper. We'll go... Well, what could I do? Yeah, I guess we'll end them. I don't know if I want to give him four cards, but I don't want to get rid of the field blower. I might need it. So we'll, we'll hold on to the blower. At least we get some energy onto our bench T-Tar here. And I guess we can do Juniper, Purge, just waste this field blower. We have a few counter stadiums, so it's fine. It's fine by me. It's not a Roxy turn, uh, which would have been ideal, but we can always set up a Roxy play for next turn. Uh, which we do not. We get a Roxy, but we don't have any executes or wheezings or ways to get wheezing, which is kind of a mess. We don't even have a T Tar. This hand kind of sucks, to be honest with you. Tain Liza. I might have to let them just knock out Tina over time until we can set up a better board state here. Because our hand just isn't really a chief. Uh, let's see, we draw. Battle Compressor? Okay, we can get rid of some eggs, of course. Uh, whoops, we'll get rid of two eggs and a dark energy. Could have gotten rid of Guzma too, I guess. We need to find, uh, 
We need to find Mega Titar though. I guess we could have taken a knockout with Break Ground. We do 10 damage to our own bench though. I think I'm just gonna settle with a Roxy here. We'll just do a little Roxy. We'll see if we draw more cards. I don't know if this mat. Okay, good. I was like, oh, are we doing it? But we aren't. Okay, so, uh, Dark Patch. We can float stone and knock out the full mantis, but I'd rather take two prize on the rantis. I feel like that's just better. I think I'm just gonna pass. We could get end. Um, I'm just gonna pass and just chill out. Uh, we'll wait till next turn to see what happens. I wanna try to get some damage on board. I wanna see if we can take a knockout. I think we wanna try to see if we can get a knockout. Okay, yes, yeah, see Sore. So that's a little bit better. We can take a knockout on this thing. Is this knocking me out? I don't think it is. I think if we stay burned, we get knocked out next turn. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, we stayed burned too. Well then. I'll play this. We'll see if we have Floatstone in the deck. We'll get rid of this. Okay, we do have Floatstone. We, yeah, we do. Okay. Um, I think that's all I get rid of. I don't really think I need to get rid of anything else. Yeah, I'm going to keep everything else. Uh, we can't knock out this Celesaur just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ultra Ball for Weezing. We're definitely going to do the Roxy play here. I'm going to look, see if we can get a Shrine of Punishment. That's what I really want to hit. If we don't get it, we can computer search for it. And let's we'll see if this glitch happens. Nope, okay, good. We didn't draw 12 cards. Or however many cards that was. Okay, we got the T-Tar. We did get the Shrine. I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, we get knocked out here. So we'll we'll bring in the. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should have put an egg back and let them take out the egg here. I might just have to let them knock out Hoopa. I don't like it. Well, maybe we could have let them knock out Jirachi and then we can like stretch or shuffle it back in the deck. They have Floral Heal. Oh no, I forgot they can heal 20 with the Shaman. Uh, if only we have Mimikyu. And, no, Mimikyu wouldn't work. Oh, and they, of course they play Crushing Hammer. Bro, oh, they got the Shaman. Yikes. Oh, they're not knocking me out. Look at that. Oh, the Shrine dude. Wait, what? I forgot. Ah, okay, I am... I need to think harder. Okay. We need to do a double wheezing here if we're gonna knock out this uh this Celosaur. Which I think we can pull off. We have enough resources to do that, right? Right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so. I do want to stretch her everything back. Let's do this. Let's ultra ball. We'll get rid of the Guzma. Okay, yeah. We have the, we have the double Weezy. I think we just waste the comp search here. Yeah, we'll just waste our computer search on the Weezing. That's fine. Because what we're going to do is then we're going to stretch her. I'm going to put back the T-Tar. And the Tina? I'll put back Hoopa. I don't think that matters. Maybe we should just put back the Tina. I don't really know. But I wanted to put the T-Tar back. We need to do the double wheezing. This is where the Shrine of Punishment comes in handy. All right, let's be a Seeker for Roxy. Uh, we have 15 cards. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get decked out if this glitch even happens. Let's see if this glitch does happen, though. We're discarding two wheezings. The glitch happened. Yep, okay. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I'm never playing Roxy ever again. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for letting me draw an insane amount of cards game. I appreciate it, but I don't actually appreciate it. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is actually hilarious. Yo, if they malevolent Bryson meme to beat me because of the Roxy bug, that is going to be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dark energy. Weezing. Okay, that's good. Quick ball. Okay. 
I am a little worried about my opponent um, healing. The heals are really bad. Ooh, a Buzzmosa. Oh, dude, they could win by beast gaming my Jirachi. Oh my gosh, that's actually bad. Janine? Okay, well, safe to say that I'm really playing a great deck. Yeah, they could win by beast gaming Jirachi. Laser? I think I might have to just Guzma them here. Hmm. We could not get the Shaman, so I can't heal anymore. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's not get their Shaman here. We might have to do end soon. Our hand should not be this big, but, you know, glitches exist for a reason. We could also just swing into this thing and just put a bunch of damage on it. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna knock out the shaman though. As long as I can't heal again, we're going to just do this. Set up damage on the Titar or the uh, Buzzmosa. So yeah, we just gotta hope that Buzzmosa doesn't gust me, and we should be good. Okay, it looks like they don't have it. And that should be game. We're just gonna knock out the Buzzmosa here. And take a dub. That's fine by me. Glitches are glitches. Okay, yeah. That's not going to be a, any way to boss, so that's good. So it looks like we have avoided... We have avoided the game. So I'm going to wrap up the day's feature video, guys, I think, after this game. I think it's like... I'm going to chill out. I mean, bro, these glitches are just too wacky. There's too many weird glitches. I guess a shrine. PC Joe is broken. I really hope that Dark of the Blaze doesn't break the game even more. Like, imagine the glitches with Dark of the Blaze. Eternatus lets you put 12 Pokemon on your bench. Like, bro, I am kind of scared to see what happens with the glitches tomorrow. But we will find out. It's kind of annoying that our hand was this big. It really shouldn't have been. But can't do anything about it. I right, we're just going to Guzma the Buzzmosa. We almost lost, to be honest. We could have lost, but we're just gonna knock it out for 390 damage in total. Not even the tankiest of VMAXs could survive that almost. But yeah, that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the T-Tar Roxy deck. I wanted to play around this deck, wanted to play T Mega T-Tar. I was in the mood. And uh, yeah, we got to experience a new glitch on PDCGO with that Roxy glitch. Happened to us twice, because it happened again in that game. Hopefully PC Joe gets their stuff fixed for tomorrow. I am very worried about Darkness and Blaze breaking the game. I hope the game doesn't go into maintenance and then the Darkness and Blaze set release is delayed on PDC Joe. Because that happened once. It was I don't remember what set it was. It might have been Breakthrough, Breakpoint, or Fates Collide. It was one of those three sets where there was like a maintenance all day on the day one set release. And the set release got delayed, I think almost by a day. So hopefully the set release doesn't happen on Friday. I'm scared though. I really hope they fix this the game. Hopefully, it should go in maintenance soon, and then hopefully, they fix these pat. They fix the bugs overnight, and then when Dark Blaze comes out at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, the game is fresh, and there's no insane bugs where Clay loses you the game and AZ scoops up your entire board. You can weld it to your hand, and Roxy doesn't draw you 1250 cards. I don't even know anymore. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the reaching 10,000 subscribers guys all right if you guys are hyped for tomorrow leave a like i'm probably gonna do a hundred pack opening video and i'm also probably going to be streaming tomorrow lots of stuff happening i got a lot of content prepared i gotta do the theme deck reviews so much stuff's happening i don't want to give it all away but hope you guys enjoyed the video check out car again if you guys are picking up dark place codes for the cheapest on the market get them at car cabin tcg use code ldf check out my patreon down below follow my twitter down below and bye bye